In this video, we're going to ask the question, why does Uber have us wearing these masks? And we're also going to read a few of your comments. Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone. It's Joe time. And oh, the heck with it. It's Joe time. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mark. I'm going to ask that you please click my face in the corner to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. Actually, it's not Joe today. It's OJ. I don't want to say it's OJ time. Might give people the wrong idea. So welcome. What we're going to do is start out by addressing a few comments made by viewers and then we are going to take a look at this whole mask thing. Why are we wearing them? Does it help? And do you think it's good policy? I know this is going to be one that's going to get a lot of comments, a lot of pushback, but you know, I don't mind if there are dissenting opinions as long as we can discuss them in a civilized fashion. So let's take a look at viewer comments that I wanted to address. This one comes from Raval Milf. I love how Uber kept saying that rideshare was only a very small part of the revenue. And now the truth is out. That's right. They said, no, we're not a rideshare company. We're a technology company. But what happens the moment that something like COVID uh, hits and rides go down, we see an almost $3 billion loss in a quarter. We see them firing thousands of people. I would say that rideshare is a pretty significant part of a company that claims to be a technology company. Here's the next one. Premier Motion Analyst said, and this is in regard, both of these were actually in regard to my video where we talked about Uber firing 3,500 people through a three-minute Zoom call. The longest any of these employees at Uber could possibly have been employed is what? 10 years? I read one case where the guy was employed 11 months and he got 10 months full pay of his salary, and six months of full medical coverage. Well, let's not believe rumors that uh, are passed around. We don't really know who got what, but let's say he did. I think that that's exception and probably not the rule. I worked for 18 years at one big telecommunication company, got laid off, and I got less of a severance package than that. So I doubt they are crying all the way to the bank. You know, the whole point of the article was not, let's feel sorry for people I got laid off. Although 3,500 people get fired, my heart does go out to them. What the comment was more about was the way Uber did it. Whether or not you feel they got a great deal. Okay, so the guy's got, uh, let's say it's true. He's got 10 months full salary. He's still on the streets looking for work. And... Everybody deserves dignity. Getting on a Skype call with 3,500 other people for three minutes and being told you're fired, there is no dignity in that. That is not a class act. Everybody had to have a supervisor. And they deserve to be told by their supervisor. Yeah, but their supervisor getting fired. Well, okay. Guess what their last job duty should have been? Call up the people that are beneath you and uh, beneath you doesn't even sound right but you know people that are under your supervision and let them know in a humanitarian way that they just lost their job that's all i'm saying i i think that the way uber fired 3500 people was indicative of their attitude toward their employees and i think by extension indicative of their attitude toward drivers what do you think am i right or am I off base? Let me know down below. The next thing we're going to talk about are these masks. As you know, Uber and Lyft are requiring these masks to be worn by drivers and riders. So the first question I ask is why? Because I'm not convinced everybody knows what the purpose of the mask is for. 
And the reason I say that is, first of all, most people don't even know how to wear them, how to handle them. What I'm just doing is completely wrong. Okay, you put these masks on. First of all, I see people with big gaps. I see them, they'll put them down by their neck. They'll do things like I did, try to pick them up to drink and eat. What you're supposed to be doing, if you're going to take this off, you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to wash your hands first. Use a sanitizer. Then very carefully take it off. Then dispose of it or wash it before you put it back on. Because once you put it back on, all those germs, everything that has been uh, breathed in and out of this thing are now going to be on your hands. They're going to be all over your face. They're going to be everywhere. So that's just a real, you know, that's not the whole way you're supposed to use these, but it gives you a general idea. People are using these completely wrong. I see them walking around um, airports with them down by their neck. I see them with big gaps on the sides and on top and bottom. Um, but this is the craziest one, all right? This is um, that brain trust and champion of social consciousness, Alyssa Milano. And she pictured herself, look at this picture, a crocheted mask. Now she took some heat for this. And after multiple Twitter users responded, they responded with some funny things. I saw one picture of a woman that had like a Mardi Gras mask on. <laughs> Nothing down here at all. And she said, my mask is every bit as good as yours. <laughs> it's crocheted, all kinds of holes in it. So here's what she responds with. A-holes. Now, isn't that great? Your followers, your Twitter followers, because they disagree with you, you start by name calling and using profanity. I'll tell you what, there are a lot of people on this channel that disagree with me, but I always treat them in a civil way. Those of you who are in on my last uh, live stream, you know that there was someone in there that was going back and forth with me. I, they didn't get mean or nasty and neither did I. We handle things like adults. I didn't start by saying, a-hole, you're wrong. <laughs> A-holes. Mask has a carbon filter in it. First of all, I don't believe her. I don't believe her for a minute. I think this is her on the rebound saying, oh, how do I recover from this? And I'll tell you why I think that in a minute. I could be wrong. I was once before. So yes, it may be crocheted, but totally safe. Mask has a filter in it for F's sake. There's the profanity again. Some of you may not be offended by it, but I'm going to tell you there's, there's a reason that I'm bringing that up. A carbon one. My mom makes them. I don't know if her mom makes the crocheted masks or the carbonated filter. I don't believe they have carbon filters underneath. Probably moving forward, she's going to find a way to get one underneath there so she can prove it to people. The fact that her mom makes it means nothing. She has love of her mom. Okay, that's great. But look at this picture, first of all. Why are two kids, a mom and dad, all wearing masks in their car? You live together. Are you, do you wear those masks around your house? Remember, if you don't wear them around your house, which I hope you don't, why are you wearing them in the car? It's a closed environment with people you live with. It's so stupid. When you start doing just what I did, Although it, I didn't call her stupid. I kind of did call her stupid. But her comments and her actions are stupid. A-holes, for F's sake, all that stuff. You know what that means? It means you're losing the argument. That's what it means. If you cannot rationally discuss without losing your temper and without name calling, um, it, it, it just gives me insight on how you really feel about your defense. So I think she was caught. But what that tells me, the broader picture is, a lot of people don't understand the purpose of them. So why do people wear masks? I came up here uh, with five reasons that people are wearing masks. And I would love to hear your comments down below if you agree with me or not. First one is a belief that it helps. Okay, a lot of people are wearing these masks, they really think it's gonna help, but a lot of them I think if they wear it wrong, it's, they're wrong about it, if they wear it wrong. Plus, it's not helping you because this does not filter out coronavirus. What it keeps you from doing is sneezing, coughing, spitting on other people. That's what it's for. I'll bet a full 50% or more think that it's going to keep them from getting corona. It doesn't. But um, a belief that it helps. And by the way, I'm going to talk about why that may be faulty logic as well in just a second. Posturing. 
much of this is virtue signaling. And that's what I think it is with Miss Milano. I believe she's doing this to appear better than other people. You can tell by her attitude when she calls people a-holes and she's dropping the F-bomb. In my mind, that shows me she feels superior and putting the mask on. Well, why wouldn't you wear a mask, you idiots, you a-holes, you Fs? Why wouldn't you wear a mask? You are so stupid. That is her attitude. So I believe a lot of people wear these masks just out of virtue signaling and posturing to show I'm better than you. Ignorance. I, I think people just, uh, they don't know. Either, either they, they choose not to wear it because they, they don't have a clue or they're wearing it, they don't have a clue, they don't know why. But they're, they're wearing it, you know, I don't know, for this next reason, compliance. People will grudgingly put them on, um, but, you know, they might use something like the crocheted mask just to, uh, you know, so it can breathe easier. I saw one guy, it was so funny. This lady had a mask and she was completely serious. She went into a, fat, uh, 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 like a quick trip, you know, uh, convenience store, gas station type thing. And she had a hole cut right here. And and the uh, the guy who worked there had to take a picture of it. He said, why don't you have that? Well, she makes it easier to talk and to breathe. You know, so I, what I said, ignorance, that's what I meant. People put the things on, they don't even understand it. You know, they put on a crocheted mask. They put on a mask with a hole in it. They put on masks with all kinds of gaps. So ignorance. And this last one, and I believe there's more people that are wearing it for this reason than you would believe fashion. I think there's some people who think it's cute. You know, they have all these cutesy ones with smiley faces and all kinds of crazy stuff. I think some people just think that it's, it's still fun to be sitting at home. And, um, you know, at some point, the novelty is going to wear off. So, out of all those, notice I did not. The very first one was important. Some people really think that it's helping. But I think, I suspect that they don't really understand how it's helping or why it's helping. And here's why I say that. Do they even work? I was looking online for clinical trials uh, of wearing masks. There's almost none out there. And a lot of it is just opinion. Why am I wearing it? I don't know. You know, Fauci said I should wear them because the World Health Organization said I should wear them. I'll get to them in a minute because the CD says, says I should wear I, All right. Why do they say? because there's some politician that thinks it's right. And yeah, empirical evidence has value, but it does not have the value of a, of a clinical trial. When you have a control group and you, you, know, you actually run this uh, through tests and see, is this really, really effective? Um, I found one, I was reading uh, this in the National Library of Medicine, and there, they did report on a clinical trial. It was made during the 2006-07 flu season. Face mask, and I'm going to read some of the, um, uh, their results. Face mask use alone showed a similar reduction in ILI, ILI being uh, influenza-like illness, showed similar reduction compared to the control group. That meant the people who wore this mask had a similar number of illnesses as people didn't wear the mask. No, you could argue, you know, they wore it wrong, they didn't wear it consistently, just like probably what's happening in the general population. I don't know. This was one of the few clinical trials that I could find that, that really looked at whether or not masks were effective in the general population in keeping uh, what they call influenza-like illnesses at bay. And... It says uh, face masks alone showed a similar reduction compared to the control group, but adjusted estimates were not significantly uh, or were not statistically significant. So there you go. Uh, face mask use alone was not associated with a significant reduction of the rate of ILI cumulatively, influenza like illnesses. So why do they have these then? Because of empirical data. And what is that? That's what we can observe. And they might say, okay, you know, maybe studies don't prove it, but we have a room, you know, full of people who have been wearing this mask and they don't seem to be getting diseases as much. That's valid. 
empirical data is valid. I mean, you can observe things and say, well, look what happens. It only makes common sense that it's having some effect. So I'm not saying that it's insignificant, but we really think about why we're using this. Why are we having six feet social distancing? By, well, I know why CDC says so. You know what the World Health Organization says? Three feet. Why? Oh, you know, guess what? Uh, Institute of Marx says nine feet. I don't know. Someone's opinion. Six feet, three feet, nine feet. We all have to make up our own mind, but I just think it's kind of interesting. Why do you think Uber made this decision? Do you think it was what, because they thought it was going to keep drivers and riders safer? Or do you think there's something else behind it? Like maybe, what did I say here for my second one? Posturing. Because it looks good. It looks good. They can report back in the media. Well, you know what? We're safe because we have drivers and riders uh, wear masks. Has it proven to be safe or safer to have riders and drivers wear masks? Where is the clinical trial? Where is the study? I guarantee there isn't one. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. I suspect there's going to be a lot of comments on this one. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face. And don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Mark, and this is Mark's Travel Time.